Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Dodi Rose. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so that you can be informed every time I post a new video, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And I usually do vegan recipes. That is like my thing. But anyways, in today's video, I want to do something slightly different. I want to talk to you guys about how I budget my groceries. So how I budget, meal planning, all that stuff in order to come in $200 for two weeks for a four-person household. Yup. So we spend $400 a month on groceries. Anyways, so I just want to go straight in and show you guys how I do this and yeah. So, first thing that I do. Well, first off, you need to find somewhere to get groceries on the cheap. I go to a local produce, produce place, the Produce Junction, and you can find like a local farmer's type thing and that's where you will get the cheapest produce and fruits you can't beat prices when you go to like local farmers produce place and then I also shop at Aldi's Aldi supermarket um, here we have it here on the East Coast I know and I know they have a different place I'm not sure exactly all over the place where it is but I know that we have it here and it is freaking awesome you can stretch your buck like crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys how I do my meal planning so starting off with my meal planning um, you see Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, yada, yada, yada. I don't normally stick to like a day, like if it says tacos on this day and rice and beans and guac on that day, I don't necessarily stick to doing just that on those days. Like I can switch it up and do something different as long as it's on this list of, uh, of, yes. So as long as I have this list of meal options for two weeks, it doesn't matter what day I make them as long as I stick to those for these two weeks so I'll start off by just sharing a couple of the stuff that I am making in, in these two weeks so in these two weeks I have pasta with veggies rice and beans with guac uh, bean burgers mashed potatoes with broccoli tacos um, and then I also have a barbecue cauliflower sandwich thrown in there to spice it all up and those are our um, our dinner meals our dinner meal planned ideas already for these two weeks that's not saying that I will only make this because I will make other things like during the week that I might sort of like switch something around and make some turn something into something else. Like I do switch it up. It's not just this. Like if I have the ingredients on hand, I will use it. That's basically what this meal planning thing is about. It's not just about boring yourself to death and making the same thing over and over and knowing exactly what you're making. It's about having the ingredients on hand when you go shopping, you have a list of the of the meals that you're going to make so you know what ingredients you have to buy in order to make those uh, meals. Why? Which is why you're less wasteful. So we're trying to be less wasteful with food and also financially because you don't want to overbuy a bunch of stuff and stuff started going bad, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. So um, also for breakfast, um, we do about four, maybe five if I find something different um, to make. And this is our usual like breakfast staples it's oatmeal grits pancakes and cereal we sometimes do granola when I make granola and our pancakes are switched up so often I'm constantly making different kinds of flavors and recipes for pancakes so it doesn't get boring and then oatmeal we also switch it up a lot and then cereal we usually have cereals on like lazy mornings like on the weekends where I'm like oh mommy is off I don't feel like making any breakfast and cooking all this stuff because all week I've been making breakfast lunches breakfast and lunches in the morning and I'm like not today how may I help you and then for lunches for lunches uh, like I said another lazy thing my peanut butter and jelly that's my lazy thing on the weekend we might do like peanut butter and jelly for the kids if I just don't feel like making something on one of those days and then we also have chickpea salad, which I'll link down below. I have a recipe for the chickpea salad. Oh, I also have a, a recipe for the barbecue cauliflower sandwich, which I'll also link down below. And then we'll do, uh, I also have on our lunch options is lentil tacos, grits, and mushroom cheesesteak. So basically, this is our menu for the next two weeks. And we'll switch it up and like make whatever is on the list. Like I said, I don't stick to specific days. All right. 
So we're flipping it around. On the back side, I have my actual shopping list. Now, I don't always do my shopping list this way. I, a lot of times, I just write it down on a piece of paper for the simple fact that um, this is an awesome grocery list. This is the Ultimate Vegan Shopping List by The Friendly Fig. And this is actually a PDF that I just downloaded off of the blog. Um, but the reason why I don't always use this is because I have to, like, I find myself writing a lot of, like, extra stuff that is not on the list already around it. So I just do paper, whatever, and just write it down. But I just, I was feeling lazy and didn't feel like writing anything down. So I decided to do it this way. But anyways, yeah, so I'll go back and forth. I'll look at my menu, um, my meal planning menu for the two weeks, and then I'll, I'll go through each thing. So I'll be like, okay, pasta with veggies, what do I need to make pasta with veggies? All right, so I need pasta, which we usually always have in the pantry, and then veggies, and then I'll put veggies. If I, I've, you know, if we're running low on veggies, rice and beans with guac, I'll put whatever I need to make the beans. I'll put guac on there because I like to buy the actual pre-made stuff especially when avocados are expensive, bean burgers, blah, 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 you get the point. So for everything on the list, I will go through the stuff that we need, the ingredients that we need to make that actual meal, and then I'll go ahead and put that on our grocery list. That way we have all the ingredients for the menu or the meals that we are planning. And then um, also on top of doing like the meals, then we also have to have snacks. So for snacks, we do like pretzels, corn chips, tortilla chips, cookies, crackers, stuff like that. So, okay, so we have our grocery list done, right? What's next? So basically, I would go shopping at this point, but I found this new app. No, I'm not sponsored by this app. Um, I wasn't contacted by them, none of that. I just found this cool app that I wanted to share with you guys, and it actually helped me a lot more this week with budgeting. There is this app, my phone is, not the screen, is the screen is not what's cracked, it's actually the screen, glass screen protector. But anyways, it's called Listonic, and this is it right here. So this is an app called Listonic that I found, and it's actually a free app, which is awesome. And basically, you make your list, as you would make like any regular list from any app, so I have my groceries here. So you make your list, and then once you make your list, um, these are the stuff that I still need to get. And then these are stuff that I already bought that I checked off. And as you can see, I freaking found this app so awesome because you can actually put the prices to everything. So next time that I do a budget, I know exactly how much everything is or roughly because, you know, stores sometimes change their prices, which is so frustrating. But and then all the way at the bottom, this will give you a total of how much and like whatever um, is on your grocery list, which is so cool. I found it so cool. But anyways, that's a cool app. Um, look it up if you're interested, if you're not, whatever. Anyway, so the first thing that I do after I have my shopping list is I go shopping. All right, so I go first every single time. Never fail. I always go first to the produce junction. The produce junction is like my local farmer's market, which I go and get all of my produce, all of my veggies, no exception. Unless I find myself making a video or something, which I also do a list for, making a video, and then I'm thinking, oh my god, I forgot to get this or that, and then I have to like run to Aldi's and get that. But other than that, Produce Junction, the produce place, the farmer's market is the only place I get my fruits and my veggies because everything is dirt cheap. If you have a produce place near you, shop there. Seriously, don't go to a supermarket and get your produce and your veggies. Um, or your produce, your fruits and your veggies and stuff because unless you have no other option. But if you have other options, do that. It's always going to be way, way, way cheaper. Half, if not more, um, if not less, the price of what you would get. So I went to the Produce Junction. I keep, I'm like rambling. I went to the Produce Junction and I spent 54 bucks on produce and I got a whole cart full, like a bunch, a ton of stuff, a loads of bananas, loads of cucumber, lettuce, blah, 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 the whole, the whole, the whole night. And then after I went to the produce junction, I went to Aldi's. And at Aldi's, um, I spent $72. And yes, how may I help you? So this is the big list of everything that I bought for $72 at Aldi's, which is like insane, I think, compared to other places that you go to. So, what I did is I bought the rest of the stuff that I needed to get at Aldi's, and, and 
I actually hung on to my receipt, and I usually just recycle these, toss it and recycle them, but I actually hung on, to, hung on to my receipt and put in all of the prices onto my Listonic app. That way, next time I go food shopping, I know exactly what my budget is going to turn out to be. So, after doing the meal planning and after going grocery shopping with everything that I had on my list, I tried not to stray too much from the list, too. So, I'll get like probably like five six things that were not on the list because when i'm at the supermarket i'm like oh wait i completely forgot that i had to get this so that's how i'll i'll do it that way but all in all i spent a total of 126 127 i believe uh 126 dollars on groceries and so and like i said 200 dollars is the budget for the two weeks so we have money left over so what do i do with the money that's left over so what I do with the money that's left over, if you have money that's left over, you can actually save it, obviously, right? But I also get non-food things with the grocery money. So I also include like paper towels, which we only use for the bathroom now because we've switched over to um, non-disposable towels in the kitchen. Um, I will get like uh, Dr. Bronner's, like some bath soap, laundry detergent, um, we'll get you know things that are consumable but are not necessarily food and that is also included in our grocery list so that is how I managed to do $200 for two weeks and then a lot of times have money left over and we're guilty of sometimes having money left over and going to like the diner and getting something to eat so yeah but so yeah that is how I do the grocery uh, meal planning budgeting I do my list of food I'm gonna make um, I make a list of the food that I need to, or the ingredients I need for each meal, and I just go and do it. And like I said, that app is awesome. If you're trying to budget, and you will, look, after the first time you go and put the prices in, I think that you will have a great time actually going in and knowing how much you're going to spend. Um, again, not sponsored. I know I sound very like adamant about, oh, check it out. But it's because I just think it's an awesome app and you guys will benefit from it. So I hope that this video was helpful. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing like some other, maybe like a household budgeting thing or organization thing. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would be interested in more videos like this. Um, not taking away from the food videos but just aside from that let me know give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it and i will talk to you guys very soon